you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, Lord, the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they don't follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shot, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. That the 13th Amendment just abolished slavery. But that's not what the 13th Amendment does. The 13th Amendment makes slavery legal. You want to know how I know? It's because all you got to do is just Google, go on your Google machine and type in the 13th Amendment and you'll see slavery has been made legal under the 13th Amendment. How? It says 13, uh, slavery is abolished. You cannot be a slave unless you commit a felony. Once you commit a felony, you are now a slave. Now that's in the Constitution of the United States of America. Now I, I thought slavery was, was abolished, but last time I checked, the, the, Constitution of, uh, the Constitution of America is like the DNA of America. Now if they went and put that into a con the Constitution, slavery not only was founded, uh, uh, America was not only founded by slavery, but it's also in its DNA. They put that clause in there to, to, to guarantee that they would have slavery. Guarantee that slavery will live on. Now people say, well, slavery was so long ago and you don't know any slaves. If you know a felon, you know you know a slave. Now how many, now, now what's, now, now how, why is that so important? Because we look at uh, what, what's been going on with us. Now they criminalize our behavior. Now what am I talking about? You, a lot of black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians like to congregate at a local meeting spot. But if you do that uh, uh, too often or the crowd gets too big, now that's loitering. And if you dare fight back or talk back to the law, uh, uh, the law enforcement, now they can, they can put a felony on you. But that's exactly what they want. Why? Because they want slaves. They have taken crafty counsel, and we don't even know about this. Most people may have heard about the 13th Amendment and how it abolished slavery, but they don't know that it actually legalized slavery. Why? Because they have taken crafty counsel against the Most High God's laws, uh, the Most High God's chosen people, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. And it's no wonder why we are the number one people who, who flood all the prison systems in the United States of America. We are, we, are, we are the supply for their slavery. They have taken crafty counsel, and this is why the Most High God has to do something. And the, and the, and he ha, the reason why he has to do something is because we, can, we are powerless. There's a reason why he, we call him our power. He is the one that's gonna take us from this captivity. He is going to free us from these chains. Keep reading. Oh God, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. And they consulted against us. Why Why were we hidden? Because every time we try to go out and do something positive or, or something uh, uh, fruitful, they would, they would tear it down. They would tear it down, they would burn it down. If they wanted it, they would just flat out take it from us and, and call it theirs and call it theirs, right? If you don't believe me, let go to, go to uh, uh, Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Go to Seneca Village in New York City. You know what I'm saying? Go, go to these, visit these places. Oh, you can't, why? Because it's a park. Right. A, lot of, a lot of our places that, that, that we tried to build up is now you know, either underwater, right. a, a national uh, um, a park where, where no one can do anything but them, or, or it's, uh, it's wooded up, like one of those, like Rosewood, Florida. How about that? We just want to be left alone. We just want to be apart 
from, from this thinking kingdom. But they have taken crafty counsel against us. Keep reading. They have said, come and let us cut them off. They said, let us cut them off. What is cutting them off? It means, it means taking, taking someone and ripping them apart from something. They want to cut us off from who? From being a nation. From being a nation. We can't even be a nation. It's so it's so bad that right now that we that so-called blacks hate so-called Hispanics. So-called Hispanics hate so-called Native American Indians. We don't even know that we are the same people. And the reason why we don't know we are the same people is because they have taken crafty counsel against us. They want to cut us off from being a nation. Why? Because the moment we become a nation, we are the nation. The, the, the strongest nation on the face of the earth. That's, right. That's according to the Most High God. Keep reading. Come on, come. Let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. May be no more in remembrance that our name, Yasha'al, Prince of the Power, may be no more in remembrance. If you ask a black man, what is he? He ain't going to tell you he, he is Israel. He ain't going to tell you what tribe he's from. He may tell you what street he grew up on. Right. He may tell you what neighborhood he, he was in. Right. He, may, he, may, he may even quote uh, 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 an African nation. He, he may tell you how to run a block. He may tell you how to roll a blunt. But he ain't going to tell you what tribe. Why? Because they have, they have cut us off from being a nation that our name doesn't ring out like the way it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Their nation rings out. Their nation rings out. You go to, you, if anybody has ever been to a country other than the United States and, and they see someone who's American, their whole persona changes. Their name rings out. Why? Because they cut us off from being a nation. Keep reading. Come on, come. For they have consulted together with one consent. They all came together and came upon the, the, uh, an agreement. They all came upon an agreement. This is, if anybody knows anything about uh, uh, any of the world wars, so-called blacks fought to actually get into the wars. And once we actually got into the wars, we were, we were like disposable pieces. And once we got to like places like France and, and, and uh, Northern Africa and whatnot and all these other places, they told those other nations about uh, uh, they told lies about us, saying how how we were quote unquote monkeys and devils with tails. They told them not to treat us with dignity and respect because once we go home, we're gonna want that exact same treatment. So they consulted together and then they agreed with that. They agreed with that. This is now this is recent history. This is not ancient history. This is very very recent. Even now, you have people who are, who, who, who are coming over here to America from, from different nations, and they're saying that they're getting briefings on how to, college students, they're getting briefings on how to, to operate here in America. And then once they get to the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, they show them the TV show Cops. They show them uh, uh, us being uh, in cuffs us being oppressed and being angry of our oppression and then they tell them do not go over there with them with them so called them niggas they will they will kill you they will rape you they will rob you they will sell you drugs that and that's all they're good for this is what they're talking about way back thousands of years ago david was was saying this they have taken crafty counsel against our hidden ones right keep reading they are confederate against thee. They are confederate against thee. That means they are they are all come together against the Most High God's chosen people. They all had, like I said, they all had a hand in our destruction. Not had, they all have a hand in our destruction. Why? Because they keep doing it. It is ongoing. It has not stopped and it won't stop until Christ comes back and puts a stop to it. Keep reading. The tabernacles. Of Edom. Now it's about to list all these other nations that 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 are uh, that, that that has come and come up against us. Drop down to where are you? 
Drop down to uh, verse 9. Come on, come on. Verse 9. Do unto them as unto the Midianites. Do unto them as unto these, these uh, African nations. Keep going. As to stir, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kishon. Come on, come on. Verse 11. Make their nobles like a bread. He said, make their nobles. Who are their nobles? They're, they're, they're high and mighty men. They're the presidents, the, the leaders of state, the lawmakers, the people who are in charge, the, the rich and powerful. He says, make their nobles like who? Like a bread. And like that. And he said, make their nobles like these two princes who came up against the uh, against the Most High God's children. And, and deal with them just like he dealt with them. Those people that it, that there was mentioned that that came up against uh, came up against, came up against Israel were put to death by God. This, the, the Most High God destroyed our enemies. So He's saying, let all these people who come up against us, their nobles, let the Most High God destroy them. Right. Keep reading. Come, come. Yes. Yeah. All the princes, as the buck and as Zamuna who said, let us take to ourselves the houses of God and possession. So he says, let, who, who says, let, the, let us take to ourselves the houses of God and possession. The houses of God, that means the, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians into possession. What is happening to the, the so-called Latino tribe children right now? They are in their possession right now. This is happening right now. Right. What's happening to our so-called Native American brothers and sisters right now? They are in reservations, and if they come out of those reservations, they're getting herded back into those reservations like cattle. This is this has been said long ago, thousands of years ago, and it's still happening right now. You want to know why it's happening? Because we have not come back to the Most High God's Law, Statutes, and Commandments. If we knew who we were, we would not be celebrating Christmas. We would not be uh, 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 visiting Planned Parenthood. We would not be selling drugs to our people. We would not be selling drugs at all. We would not be, uh, uh, we would not have the shortest temper when a brother offends us. We would actually have show some type of brotherhood with one another. Keep reading. Oh my God, make them like a whale as the stubble before the wind. Mate, you ever seen one of them old movies where, where a tumbleweed just blows by? He says, make that whole nation just like that. Make them like a wheel, like it, like a stubble that just blows away in the wind. Right now, it seems like they're, they're the, uh, the, the mountains, but, but soon, soon they're going to be just like the, the dust. This kingdom will be raised to the ground. Keep reading. Come on, come. As the fire burneth a wood, and as the flame set up the mountains on fire, so persecute them. So persecute them. Just like a fire burns a wood and, and the house burns down, we, we pray that you do this to them. We pray that you do this to them. And guess what is going to happen? Their house is going to burn down by thermonuclear war. And you can't blame niggas on that. Because how many niggas you know have a, have a nuclear weapon? How many niggas you know have codes to a nuclear weapon? That has nothing to do with us, but that has everything to do with the oppressor. All the oppressors have nuclear weapons, and they're going to destroy this place because of that. Keep reading. Come on, come on. So persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Most High God is going to make them afraid with thy storm. You ever, you ever been? In a in a in a uh, uh, a hurricane, you ever seen a typhoon come in, or a tsunami come in and totally just flatten a place in like in a minute in a matter of minutes? You ever seen a tornado flatten a town in a matter of minutes? You ever been in a tornado? They say it's like a freight train coming through, ripping everything apart. The most, we're, we're begging the Most High God to make them afraid just like that. Keep reading. Fill their faces with shame. Fill their faces with shame. We, 
These people need to be shamed. Why? Because they are so high and mighty and think that they, they can do anything and everything and not have, have no accountability for it. They can't do that right now in this kingdom, but the Most High God has a tally on everything they have done to us. And he will repay. The Most High God said, vengeance is mine. He will repay. So he is going to bring them down. He is going to wipe that smug look off their face. There will be no more Karens when Christ comes back. Who are you going to tell? Are you going to tell a nigga? Because that's who's going to be in charge. That's who's going to be in charge. Keep reading. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name. Oh Lord, let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yea, let them be put to shame. Thank you, sister. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Let, and they will be they will be put to shame. Because you want to know why? Because they're, they think that they're the most powerful nation on the earth. The Most High God is actually allowing them to build themselves up so that he, so that if once they get torn down, there is no question on how weak they really were. There is no question when Christ comes back how weak this, not even just this nation, but this whole earth is against the Most, the most High God. There ain't gonna be no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're going to be shamed in that day. Just like just like they were shamed when they allowed a doggone uh, uh, balloon from China to get through. They were shamed at that moment. How you how you gonna have, you know, how you gonna have one nation who are who who has a, a, a an iron dome and you allow a doggone balloon to get get travel halfway across the world into into your airspace. You should be shamed. But that's nothing compared to when Christ comes back. Keep reading. Come. And perish that men may know. Hold on, read that from the top one more time. Hold on, come on, verse 17. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish. And they let them be put to shame and die so that so that this would happen. That men may know so that all men may know this that thou whose name alone is Yahweh art the most high over all the earth so that thou may know that God is the most high God over all the earth no one is going to question in that day who is the power no one is going to question in that day who can who can be the most powerful nation on the earth you want to know why? Because everybody will know, everybody will know how the way the Most High God destroyed this earth. Yeah, Babylon is falling.